right, good morning, everybody. How are you doing? Good. So, I am good, thank you very much. So this morning, we are gonna be working on our claims, evidence, and reasoning. Who can remember what a claim is? Raise your hand. A claim, Larissa. It's what you think. It's what you think, or Nathaniel? An answer to a question, absolutely. So this morning we are gonna be working on a claims, evidence, and reasoning. And our question is, can you separate salt from pepper? So on your trays this morning, you have many different instruments. Remember the word instruments means what? Tools, tools that's right. The tools that we'll be using for this um, demonstration, okay? I want to remind you of the things that you have on your table and what our expectation is for this morning. Well, I wanted everyone to feel successful. A lot of times it's vocabulary that a lot of our ELD students and our general ed students have trouble with. So I wanted to give them a list of words that they've seen before. And when they looked at the words like, oh yeah, I remember we did this in fourth grade or fifth grade, or we just did this last week. So I wanted to give them some words that they would be able to either look up and research or that they already knew so that they would be able to um, use those words to help with their writing and their research part. So when they're doing their reasoning, they would have an idea of where to get started. You also have on the back side, may I see that one Mia? And on this one you have some sentence starters. Okay, these sentence starters are there for you to use in case you're not quite sure how to put your thoughts into words. Okay, remember the main thing here is that you use good complete sentences when you're speaking. It will help you transition right into that writing piece, okay? Are there any questions on what these things are for on your desk? They're for your conversations. This was more of an inquiry-based lesson that we did with the salt and pepper. So I gave the kids a little bit of background, but really it's about them investigating and having a good collaborative conversation, using sentence frames, using the vocabulary, and trying to figure out the problem on their own. This kind of lab is a great fit for ELD because it allows students to get hands-on right away and to kind of build their own sense of what they're working on. And they have their peers to, to bounce their ideas off of. So they have someone to talk to, they have something to talk about, and they don't really have a whole lot of context from me, so they kind of have to get into it and try to figure out some things on their own. All the salt is going down. All the salt is all. I would like for you to please set up your paper as you see here. Write your question, claim, evidence, and reasoning. Let's write down the things on our chart before you write down your information. I'm going to give you a few moments to talk with your group about what you think your claim is and what strategies worked or did not work during your investigation. So I just had them draw a chart that they could put the, the claim, which is just the answer. So they have their question at the top, and I always help them make sure that they know how to format their paper and encourage them to talk with their group. Then they answer their claim with their answer, and then they can jot down their evidence on the right-hand side. It's kind of like a two-column note system. At the bottom, they leave a place for their reasoning so that as they're going through, if they think of something, oh, I learned that in a lesson on electricity, or I learned that in density, they can write down the, ev the reason that supports the evidence that they found in the lab. So, because salt does sink for it is a mineral or a rock, and then pepper, pepper smells because it is like a plant. So, yeah. we could put that as two different ones. We can also add the assembly that we use as 
exactly um, as the salt as a rock and and the pepper as a leaf. But the rock did disintegrate, but yeah, that's the rock still disintegrate. Because yeah. it's, it's got like it's got to the bottom here. Yes, like a rock. Are you guys ready? Yes. Okay, everything stays on your tray because your tr your tray is for your reference this morning. Remember, reference means so you can think back to what you did yesterday. And if you need to do any last minute trials, you can. But really, today is all about writing, okay? We've talked about our claim, which is the what? Answer to the question. Answer to the question, absolutely. We've looked at evidence. Raise your hand. What is evidence? Angel. The reasoning is probably the most challenging for students. They can answer a question very well and they can observe and investigate and come up with their evidence. But then they have to sit there and think about why, justify it, prove it. Now this is nothing new in Common Core. It's something that they have to do in every subject. But coming to science, where it's usually hands-on or reading or whatever it is, now they have to apply a writing strategy and that gets them. Using the sentence frames in the vocabulary, they were able to write just a simple sentence, why. I also gave them the opportunity to have collaborative conversations to come up with those whys. So I think in that sense, it's not like electricity, it's kind of strong. Said so since the pepper is kind of lighter, then we've kind of like picked it up since like the, the salt is 23 grams and this pepper is like seven. Well, it's, it's also um, static electricity. It worked because um, the pepper was able to kind of put a negative charge on what was happening with the balloon. Because you know how if you hold something like a balloon over your head, when we got finished with this activity, I asked some of the students to come up and share their writing, their CER. And the reason that I do that is so that they can feel some success in finishing this process. They answered the question. They came up with their own evidence from their heart, what they did, along with collaboration, and then they were able to write their reason. And I want them to have the opportunity to read those out loud and feel the same success that any other student would feel as well. From pepper, I found that using the water, I could get the pepper to float and the salt to sink. I knew this is true because salt is denser than pepper. I also found that when the salt was put in water, the salt will dissolve. Very nice. So you're awesome. You're awesome. Okay, so.